evolution of a star means change in its properties with time resulting in different stages of a star. Stars evolve very slowly for most of their lifetime. As stars are continuously emitting energy, their energy is constantly decreasing. For their stability to remain intact, that is for maintaining a balance between the gas pressure and the gravitational force, it is necessary that the temperature remains constant. But for the temperature to remain constant, energy must be generated inside the star. This generation of energy occurs because of burning of fuel at the center of the star. The reason for the evolution of stars is the burning of fuel and therefore the decrease in the amount of fuel in their center. When one of the fuel in the center finishes, the energy generation stops. As a result, the temperature of the star starts decreasing. Due to the decrease in temperature, the gas pressure decreases and the balance between gas pressure and the gravitational force cannot be maintained. As the gravitational force is now higher than the gas pressure, the star starts contracting. This causes another fuel to start burning. Example, when hydrogen at the center is finished, helium starts undergoing fusion and energy generation starts again. How many fuels will be used depends on the mass of the star. Higher the mass of the star, higher is the number of fuels used. During this, a lot of changes occur in the star. As a number of processes occur inside the star, it sometimes contracts and expands at the other times. And the star goes through different stages. When all possible fuels are exhausted, the energy generation finally stops and the temperature of the star starts decreasing. The balance between the gravitational force and gas pressure cannot be maintained. Let us now see how the evolution of stars ends and what are the end stages of stars. Let's begin with end stages of stars. The higher the mass of a star, faster is its rate of evolution. The different stages during the evolution of a star, which is the path of evolution of the star, also depends on its mass. How does the evolution finally stop? We have seen that when the energy generation stops, the temperature decreases causing the gas pressure to decrease. The star contracts and its density increases. When the density becomes very high, some new types of pressure are generated, which do not depend on the temperature of the gas. In such case, the gas pressure remains constant even after the energy generation stops completely and the temperature of the gas goes on decreasing. The stability of the star can remain intact forever and this can be considered as the end stage of a star. There are three ways of evolution of stars depending on their initial mass. Thus, we can divide stars in three groups. The path of evolution and end stage of all stars in the same group is the same. Let us see the first one, wherein the star has its mass or initial mass less than 8 times the mass of the sun. Stars in this group undergo huge expansion and their radius increases by a factor of 100 to 200. In this stage, they are called red giant stars. This name is given because of large size and because of the fact that the stars look reddish due to their lower temperature. At the end of its evolution, these stars explode and their outer gas envelope is thrown out. The inner part contracts and its size becomes similar to the size of the Earth. As the mass of the star is much higher than that of the Earth, 
and the size is similar to that of the earth, the density in the star becomes very high. In this state, the pressure due to the electrons in the star becomes independent of temperature and is able to balance the gravitational force forever. In this state, the star looks white and due to its small size, it is called a white dwarf. After this, its temperature keeps decreasing, but its size and mass remains unchanged forever. And so, white dwarf is the end stage of stars in this mass range. The next is for the stars having mass between 8 and 25 times the mass of the sun. These stars also go through the red giant stage and later through the super giant stage during which their size may increase thousand times. The huge explosion called the supernova explosion which occurs at last is very powerful and so much energy is given off that we can see the star during the day also. The central portion which is left behind after the explosion contracts and its size becomes as small as about 10 kilometers. In this state, the stars are completely made up of neutrons and are called neutron stars. The pressure of these neutrons is independent of temperature and is capable of balancing the gravitational force forever. The neutron star is the end stage of these stars. The next is for the stars having mass larger than 25 times the mass of the sun. These stars evolve like the stars in the second group. But after the supernova explosion, no pressure is capable of balancing their huge gravitational force and they continue contracting forever. As their size becomes smaller, their density and their gravitational force increase tremendously. All nearby objects get attracted towards these stars and nothing can come out of them, not even light. Also, any light falling on these stars does not get reflected and gets absorbed inside the star. Thus, we cannot see the star at all, hole. but can probably see a minute black hole at its base. This end state of the star is therefore called a black hole. Thus, we have seen that depending on the mass, there are three parts of evolution and three end stages of stars. For stars having initial mass less than 8 times the mass of the sun, the end stage is a white dwarf. For stars having mass between 8 and 25 times the mass of the sun, the end stage is neutron star. And for stars having mass larger than 25 times the mass of the sun, the end stage is black hole. And yes, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.